Luke, Luke. So it's um, Friday, 6th November 2020 at 11.45am. I just had a, uh, a meeting with a uh, uh, with someone from a, an organization that delivers uh, services uh, aligned with my NDIS plan, my National Disability Insurance. NDIS. Anyway, NDIS, National Disability Insurance. And I even forgot about that. Anyway, what scheme? Yeah, that scheme, National Disability Insurance Scheme. So this is just a first contact, just like uh, you know, just to talk about things. Um. So I just, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, just to figure out if I want to work with them or, or not. Anyway, so. Yesterday I was seeing this movie called Lagging, L-A-G-G-I-N-G. Uh, it's, uh, it's a movie which, in which, uh, oh, no, 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 it's Laggies, L-A-G-G-I-E-S, Laggies. It's about people who, it's about this, this woman who, uh, like, there's some very key things in that uh, film. It's like, anyway, it's like for someone like, I could relate to this, you know, someone who doesn't know what they want to do with their life, who, who, who feels stuck, who's floating, uh, who, like there was this one moment where she says, I'm, uh, I feel like I'm letting other people make decisions for me, or, or I'm, you know, so I could relate to that, I feel like I'm also like, I want someone from the outside to tell me what to do instead of finding out what I want to do from the inside, you know, like, like, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I like. I don't know who I am. Uh, so it's like, uh, I've, I've been waiting, like that character, like, I've been, I'm waiting for other people to say, do this, do that. But why can't I choose things for myself? So I guess, um, and then I was thinking, so what do I want to do? What do I want to do? And I realized that this is something I've been sort of putting off for such a long time. It's like, and I just, it just, uh, I, f I felt like the, the, the answer to the question, what, what do I want? I feel like that ha that is such a big, like, it's like a mystery or something. But actually the, the answer is quite simple. Um, and at the end of the movie, she goes something like, uh, don't wait for an imagined future or something, but uh, trust your gut and you know, go for something now or something like that. Anyway, I, don't quote me on it. Then um, I just asked and it just hit me. Yes, I, I want, what do, what do I want? What do I want? And this is something I've been putting off for such a long time is I want to do these three things get a job move out and live my life three things get a job move out live my own on, on my own and live my life and whatever that's that's the that is what I want to do that is what I need to do and that's what I've been sort of running you know how I said I'm running away from something and I don't know what it is and this is what I'm running away from. I'm, I'm running away from living my life. You know, I'm running away from living my life. That's why I feel so stuck. I feel like I'm running away from this. I'm getting a job, moving out and living my life. All of those things are like connected. You know, I've been sort of running away from getting a job. <laughs> I've been running away from living on my own, you know, leaving the nest flying and, and finding my own way in the world uh, I've been running away from that 
So that's what I, so the answer to the question, what do I want? That's what I want. I want to get a job, move out, live my own life on my own terms. Yeah, that's another thing on that movie, or the blurb or some review I read of the movie anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. That's, uh, that's what I, you know, I'm going to, you know, I can talk to people from the NDIS and ask them about, they can help me with these things. They can help me, uh, you know, with, with what I said <laughs> anyway um, so yeah so that's all I wanted to say I want to get a job move out I've been looking at apartments and stuff like I I can get like a, a like a studio apartment all I need is all I need is a it's a bedroom a, a, a kitchen a bath uh, maybe laundry, but I don't need laundry. I, can, I guess I can go and get laundry done from the outside, but it's quite basic. I just need one bedroom, uh, one bath, and you know, like a studio thing. That's I don't need a lot. So I've been uh, found like maybe like two hundred to two fifty dollars a week, and that I can pay with my own money right now because like you know, I, I get like a thousand dollars a fortnight so half of that can go for rent but even like well, i don't want to rush into it well maybe i will just jump into it but i don't i can plan this out i don't have to like run run right now but yeah i don't want to procrastinate that's, that's a problem procrastinating so, so anyway so that's that's what i want i want to do that this is my goal See, I have a goal now. See, before I didn't know what what I want to do, but now I know I have goals. I have goals is get a job. Like I don't have to get a full time job, maybe a part time, maybe even volunteering. You know, at my local area, like my, my NDIA local area coordinator says, she asked me, do you want to volunteer? Maybe even volunteering could be a start. Uh, and you know, group therapy. <laughs> uh, you can I can get those. Uh, so just just. Do it, man. What, what am I waiting for? Am I waiting for the future to show up? Am I, am I waiting for my life to show up? You know, you know, like a neat, neatly packaged present, or or do I just do it right now and live it? And I think I should live it, live my life. And some of the things I want to do is includes getting a job moving out in my life and then you know socializing and, and doing all of those things that people do and so I don't want to run from my life I don't want to run away I want to do this I want to live my life on my own terms yes I don't want other people to decide for me I want to decide for myself it's kind of scary but that's what I need to do. That's what I have to do. This is what I I need to do this for my own. I don't know. For for, for me, I need to do this for me. Yeah, I need to do this. Like my sister, like started living like this when she was fourteen. She got a job when she was fourteen, and she's always been with her friends. And she's, she she moved out. Now she's lived her life. She was very young, she started living. And look at me, I'm 42, and I'm like, what the fuck? That's so fucked. <laughs> and yeah, that's so fucked. And the person in that movie, she was like, what, 28? Like, and she's having these issues. This is what I'll read from iTunes. Overeducated and underemployed. Unemployed for me. 28 year old Megan, yeah, Kara Knightley is in the throes of a quarter life crisis. For me, this has to be a midlife crisis, but it's, it's kind of like a quarter life for me because for midlife means for people who have midlife crisis, for people who have work, careers, that have family, and they, that's a midlife crisis. For me, this is like a delayed, <laughs> it's a severely delayed. Oh, I don't know what to call it. It's like a mid. Uh, it's a weird crisis. Of, it's not a normal midlife crisis. This is like a growing up. This, this is like adult adulting in the middle in the midlife. Midlife adulting. 
midlife adulting. Squarely into adulthood with no career prospects, no particular motivation to think about her future and no one to relate to, M Megan is comfortable lagging a few steps behind. While her friends check off milestones and celebrate their new grown-up status. When her high school sweetheart, played by Mark Webber, proposes, Megan panics and, given an unexpected opportunity to escape for a week, hides out in the home of a new friend, 16-year-old Annika Chloe Grace Moritz, who is a, I think she's a good actress, and Annika's world-weary single dad, Craig, played by Sam Rockwell. Lynn Shelton, whose unique directorial voice created such astutely observed comedies as Your Sister Sisson and Hump Day, <laughs> crafts a sweet romantic coming of age comedy about three people who find their lives in the entwined in the most unconventional. Okay, Keira Knightley signs as Megan a rare female slacker hero. <laughs> it shows us that while you never stop growing up, you can choose to stop lagging and start living on your terms. <sighs> yes, I feel like I've been lagging for like decades. Like the people I grew up with, it, you know, like high school, and so they all, like, I don't know where they are. They sort of moved on, and I've been like lagging severely. I'm always sort of lagging, even where, I, even when I went to. Uni, I sort of lagged after that. And, you know, when I went to the College of Law to do my graduate diploma, after that I sort of lagged again. So I've had many lagging, not just one. Yeah, I need to get it. As it says in the blurb, I can ch you can choose to stop lagging and start living on your terms. Showing me, I will, I will link to the IMDb. Database. Anyway, so yeah, I might take a break from social media. I think that might be a good thing. I mean, you know, uh, I, I, yeah, so take a break. I, if I feel like making a video, I probably just make a video, but uh, you know, uh, I probably want to take a break. Uh, you know, just start focusing on my life thing. <sighs> yeah, so it's a bit scary. It's very scary. Um, and yeah, so yeah, so, um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there.